So here at present we are in an institution called Muni Seva Ashram, which is an NGO. And Muni Seva Ashram is an NGO active in the field of social care, health care, education and sustainability. So my name is Deepak Gadia and I'm in charge of sustainability at Ashram. So we are in social care, so we have old age home, we have orphan, orphanage, we have home for mentally challenged girls. Then we are in education, we have got primary school or residential school, we have got secondary residential school, we have got vocational training center, we have got college of nursing, and we have two uh, hospital, it's a cancer hospital, world class pension. And in sustainability, we are developing technology which can be used in villages to reduce the carbon footprint and not to be too dependent on power which is not available easily in India in villages. They don't have the quality power available. So they have often power failure as we experience today. So our idea is how can we pro promote a life in villages where people can live more happily without migrating to cities, without living in slums. So we are trying to create livelihood, we are trying to create a better life quality for the villages. If you see behind on the back on the hospital uh, or terrace, we have about 550 kilowatt photovoltaic power plant to produce uh, electricity for the hospital. We have got biogas plant where we use the kitchen waste and uh, waste from our cows to produce gas for running vehicle or running engine or to cook. And we have a, a solar hot water system where we produce 32,000 liters of hot water with solar flat plate collector and vacuum tube collector. We have solar dryer to dry our agriculture products. So it's a very unique project where we want to become carbon neutral or uh, energy plus by 2030. So this NGO was established in 1980 by a lady with just one dollar and it has evolved over years and now we are a 1000 acre campus. We produce our own food, we produce our own water, we are a zero effluent campus, zero waste campus, uh, we would be zero energy campus, we 100% energy will produce ourselves and even actually export it to the villages nearby. Uh, we were very fortunate that uh, one fine day, uh, one of uh, the India's most popular and a famous scientist and who also became the president of India, Dr. Abdul Kalam, visited us. And after seeing our ashram, uh, the Munise ashram, our green campus, he said, Deepak, I have got 650,000 villages and I would like each and every village like uh, in India to be self-sufficient in energy, water, food, employment, entertainment like you, but uh, create a business model. So our idea is that we are replicating this, uh, whatever we are doing here so that we can take it to villages in India and the world to show that uh, decentralized renewable energy is the way forward. So it's not just solar, not just biogas, not just wind, not photovoltaic. I think we need a basket of all different, different technologies working together smoothly, integrated, and we can create a sustainable future. I think what, what we have done, we need to multiply, we need to replicate, and we need to learn, keep on learning. And so we are glad that we have you from Switzerland traveling in, around in, across India to show what all is possible with your electrical truck or vehicle and uh, creating awareness that solar energy you can travel the world, uh, why solar energy, what is environment challenges. So I think uh, it's good that now people around the world are working as one team to create awareness and offer solutions. So thank you for coming from Switzerland all the way to take, bring the message and connect us with others.